Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my ultimate Viper lineups guide for the new map, Lotus. I think Lotus is one of the most complex maps yet, and especially for Viper. In general, I don't think Viper is going to be a primary smoke agent on this map, so a lot of these executes just aren't very strong. However, her defensive setups and utility for defending in general is just incredibly strong, but most of the time you're going to be wanting to work with a primary controller in addition to a Viper. So since there really isn't a meta yet for Lotus, if a meta does change around Viper, I'll be sure to do an updated Lotus guide in the future with new setups and lineups and more if things change. Finally, before we get into it, if you guys find these guides helpful, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it really does help out the channel. And if you wanna see Viper plays and see me use these setups live, then you can stop by my stream over at twitch.tv brush. I stream pretty much every day. So first up for the A site execute, the wall that I found the most success with, you throw once the barrier goes down. So once the barrier goes down, you wanna run into this corner here at the root, and you wanna aim your wall so it cuts across a main towards the top of a site right here, just like this. So this wall is going to cut the a main peak from the breakable door to the left, as well as stairs right here. So when you're coming out to a main from the attacker spawn, you really only have to worry about this angle right here. This wall will also block off the heaven peak once you actually get onto site. Alternatively, if you just wanna smoke off stairs back there, you can leave a lobby, stand in the middle of this part of the wall right here, and line up this part of the HUD to the corner of this brick right here, and do a normal left click throw. So this orb lands perfectly at the bottom of stairs. And so now you can just normally walk up and clear all of these close angles and then work to start clearing site. This orb is useful if you find the defenders are just playing around your wall really well and you aren't getting much value out of it. If you're using the orb here at stairs, an alternative lurk wall you can throw is to aim your wall so it cuts off main from a site like this. So with both of these smokes up, you only have to worry about clearing this left side and then you can walk up and you can maybe drop your orb and continue to fight through spawn. The idea behind this lurk setup is supposed to be similar to the way that you would lurk up U-Haul on Bind. So moving on to smokes for B site and for the wall, something like this is what's been working for me. That way you're not leaving too much of the site for the defenders to play in. For the orb lineup for B site, you wanna be in the attacker spawn, stand right here at this thick line on the floor where the bricks meet, aim at this part of this cloud and do a jump throw. So the orb will land right here at the back side of B, and this is what it's going to cover, which is the peak right from the defender spawn onto B site. So the full B site execute is going to look something like this. So finally, moving on to C site, there really hasn't been a great perfect execute that I've been able to find with Viper solo smokes, but in general, the wall that I have found success with, you wanna throw from this corner right here in C lobby, and you wanna aim your wall so it cuts off this part of site like this. So this wall is going to block off all of these lines of sight. So now when you're taking C, you only have to worry about clearing these at close angles right here. Then you can work your way up sight without having to worry about being peaked from the CT this way or from the C link here. And so the idea behind this wall is that it's similar to the Icebox B site wall and that you can just get to this corner, which is the safest spot to plant, plant the spike, and then play a post plant. It's definitely not perfect, but if you're solo smoking as Viper, it's the best option that I've found so far. So starting off with the A site post plant, this lineup is going to be for when the spike is planted on any side of this box right here. And for this lineup, you're going to want to come out into a main here, aim at the right side of this art on the wall and stand in the middle of this line and aim up until this bottom left corner of your toxin bar is at the bottom of this leaf, just like this. Do a normal left click and the molly lands right on top of the box covering the entire area around the box. So moving on to B site, this lineup is going to be for when the spike is planted right in the middle 
of B site right here. And to throw this lineup, you're gonna to wanna to come out all the way through B main. And pretty much you're gonna be in the attacker spawn. Stand in the middle of these two boxes, just like this. And aim up until the left side of the poison cloud icon is in line with these two corners of the roof, just like this. Do a normal left click. And the molly lands right in the middle of B site. And finally for C site, this lineup is going to be for when the spike is planted in this corner right here. So you're gonna wanna run all the way past the mound into C lobby, stand right here along the wall, and you wanna aim the left corner of the snake bite part of your HUD just above the bottom of this leaf, right about here. Do a normal left click. The Molly will land right here, covering this entire corner and this area right here. So moving on to defending setups, first up I'm going to show a generally good setup that's not for one specific site. And to start, you're going to want to be here at the waterfall in C-Link, and you're going to want to throw the wall so it looks like this, cutting off B main into a lobby. So the general idea behind this wall is that once the barrier that's right here goes down, you can put up the wall right as the round starts. And now if the attackers want to contest this orb here at B main, they're forced to use utility to clear past the wall. And another benefit is that if you're playing A or you have teammates that are playing A and you put up the wall as the round starts, the attackers are going to be forced to swing through the wall right at the start of the round. So ideally with this wall, your teammates over at A are going to be using utility to keep this line of sight, whether it's some sort of molly or some sort of flash or a breach or neon stun or if you are the one over on a site you can just put up the wall as the round starts and shoot a molly yourself so now if the attackers want to swing past this wall and get past this choke right here they're forced to use utility the idea for this wall was taken from sean gares so full credit to him now the other part of this setup is that if you aren't playing towards a you can just throw your wall from the corner over here at waterfall and you can instead become the c site anchor and now you can throw your orb in the middle of this once the barrier goes down. And now you can just play on C site and uh, use your orb at the choke or alternatively one of the one ways that I'm about to show you. So moving on to A site setups, the main thing here that you're gonna be using is a one way for the door right here. And to throw it, you're gonna wanna stand right at this line along the wall next to the barrier. And you wanna aim to the right of the middle of this flower brick. So just like this, and you wanna be crouched. So now when you uncrouch, your crosshair is going to be just above the brick. And once the barrier goes down, just do a normal left click. And your orb will bounce and land on the top right of the doorway. So this is what this one way looks like. And this is what the orb looks like when it's up while the attackers are trying to get through the door. So as you can see, it's a really strong one way that covers pretty much the entire door. And because of the way the door rotates, most people are going to be coming in from this side right here. So there's another good wall that you can throw from B site here that allows you once again to contest this orb here. And it allows your C player to contest C lobby and the mound area. So for this wall, you just wanna be standing in this corner here. And you wanna aim your wall like this on the map so it cuts off this angle right here and it cuts off the entrance from C lobby towards C mound. So once the barrier goes down, you put up your wall. And now once again, the attackers are forced to use utility to clear this wall and contest this area and contest this orb. And your C player who can be playing right here at the barrier can just sit here and hold the wall at the mound. Or you can play a position like this or even take further space and move into the corner like this. So finally, moving on to C site setups and one ways. Firstly, there's a one way you can throw right here to use from site and aim towards C mound or C main. And to throw this one way, you wanna stand in this corner right here and you wanna line up this line on your toxin bar with the bottom of this brick at the bottom of the archway, just like this. Once the barrier goes down, just do a normal left click. Your orb will land right here. And this is what this one way is going to look like. So once again, pretty useful if you're playing on C site, playing an angle like this, you can see anyone pushing past mound. 
You can also play the one way from this angle right here. So the other option for the C one way is actually to contest lobby and mound here. And to throw this one way, you actually need to wait for the barrier to go down. And once the barrier goes down, you wanna walk and stand in the middle of this part of the wall at the arch here. Aim right here at the tip of this mountain and do a normal left click. So your orb will land on top of the box and you can put it up right away and use the mound and the one way as cover to contest C lobby and the mound area. So finally, the last part of the defending setup is going to be for a generally good retake wall for C and B. And to throw this wall, you just wanna stand along the wall right here, pretty much in front of or in line with this Lotus. And you just wanna throw your wall like this. So it covers this line of C and the entrance to B site. So if you're anchoring site, the attackers are forced to use utility to clear past it. And you can just play any spot on site and just hold the swing through the wall, either down here or over here. And it's also going to cover the main entrance into B site as well. And once again, in general, the idea behind this wall is that it's good for retaking it, similar to the wall for A site and B site on Haven. So as you're retaking C, this is what this wall is going to cover this angle right here. And now you only have to worry about clearing the site. You don't have to worry about the back angles in the corner or any of the angles from mound. Finally, the last thing I'm going to be sharing with you guys are both the offensive and defensive alts. So starting with offensive alts and over on a site, my favorite alt spot that I found is actually going to be from this tree room here. And you wanna alt out onto site like this. So the alt is going to cover the entrance into tree room. And it's also going to cover the primary plant spots, which are going to be around this box here and in the middle of site right here. So lots of cover and lots of space to move around in and pretty much an entire second room to play in if you're getting overwhelmed. So for B site alts, alting just towards the middle here from the B main entrance. It expands like this reaching pretty much the entire site and the entire planting area, as well as covering the entrance from C link onto backside B, as well as the primary plant spots, which are going to be in the middle here and around the boxes here. And finally for offensive alts and for C site, pretty much alting onto the stairs from the bottom of the water here like this. This is going to cover the main area they're going to be planning, which is this corner right here or this corner or this corner. Plus it gives you room to move around the alt. You can move back down here and you can also wrap around the site through the water like this and work your way around through the alt back onto site. So for defending a site in general, I think the alts are going to be better used on a retake as opposed to just alting at the start of the round. But something like this, where you're just aiming between both tree and main here around this area is probably as good as we're going to get. For defending B site, you can just alt from on top of the platform here down to the middle of site like this. And so you can easily play up on the platform here and look down onto the site. And this alt is going to cover both this B main entrance right here. And if this door is broken, the alt will also cover the entrance from that link. And finally, for defending C site, just from standing on top of site here, you can alt down into the water like this. And now the attackers have to run through the C main choke and through the water here if they want to be able to get onto site. And once again, you have a lot of options. You can play on top of site here like on this ledge and look down on anyone running through main. You can play on top of the box like this, or you can play back here and hold this side while you have a teammate play up here and hold this side. So there's no way for anyone to sneak through your alt. <laughs>